Hi there, my name is Ole and I'm in charge of data and analytics here at Project A. In this short video, you will get a primer on data strategy. Quite a big word, but we'll run you through what it is, why you should do it, when, and also how to pull it off successfully. And there's even a pro tip waiting for you all the way at the end. So let's jump right in. Ideally, a data strategy outlines the kind of topics that your data people work on short-term, mid-term, and possibly even long-term. Next to the topics, a data strategy might also include certain principles by which data is turned into real insights. These principles can be rather broad, let's say when to buy versus when to build, but they can also be very specific. For example, which sanity code checks to include and what kind of pipeline. So why focusing on a data strategy in the first place? If your company is unable to abstract long-term initiatives for your data people to work on, it will most likely fall into what we like to call the ad hoc trap. That basically means that there's an endless amount of requests, analyses, reports, KPI trends coming in that keeps your team very busy. While they might also get really frustrated by these endless stream of requests and actually never really impact the growth of your company. Having a data strategy in place, your team knows what kind of long-term initiatives it can expect to work on and is very likely a lot more satisfied with their actual work and ideally also impacts your company's growth. Why, for example, investigate every single individual customer together with your account management team when you actually might be able to create a prediction service that can identify customer needs proactively and early on. So when should you actually start thinking about a data strategy? Well, one of the perks of working at a VC firm is that I regularly meet very ambitious founders looking to build the next unicorn. And what we do check during these due diligence processes is if founders have actually thought about something like a data strategy, something that can build a competitive edge, improve marketing budget allocation, or drive customer retention. Thus, it's never quite too early to think about a data strategy. Of course, putting it in place is a different topic. That requires a bit more bandwidth in your central data team and also a scalable data infrastructure to build all of these different topics on. So how to put it all together? Disclaimer first of all, if your company has machine learning within its core product, the data strategy will look a bit different. Let's say for an autonomous driving startup, it's all about data acquisition. So more data to feed the algorithm to continuously sustain a competitive edge. Most likely, that's not the case for a lot of companies. And traditionally, instead, data strategy starts with the overall business strategy. And that's luckily very likely already laid out by the core management team. They have thought about investment milestones to achieve, business objectives, or maybe even OKRs. And now it's the data team's responsibility to derive topics from that. That's quite difficult. Let's say retention is key. So how about predicting churn? Let's say margins are very crucial. So how about investing into pricing experiments? Maybe logistics is a bottleneck. Well, maybe you should think about process mining. It's quite difficult to derive actual data topics from the overall business strategy. But if you're able to do so, and actually able to nail these topics, then your data team will receive the credit it deserves for the impact it actually should deliver. So that's it. The what, why, when, and how of a data strategy. And if you remember, I promised you a little pro tip in the beginning of this video. So here it comes, data, is a journey, it's not a destination. Your data strategy will never be accomplished. The data warehouse will never be finished. Actually, if you execute these topics really well, ideally, there are more ideas coming from them and there are more opportunities for data to have an impact within all kinds of areas within the business, moving more people from get to fact-based decision-making. If you're interested in these kind of topics and many more, and would actually like to understand how to really impact the growth curve of a company with data, then feel free to join the team and come along and see you soon.